Yo, Hannah. Yo, Hannah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another junk journal with me video. As usual, I'm just looking through my journal to choose a page to journal on. I just like to choose like patterns or page types that suit what I have in mind for my journaling. Today I have this really cute photo of my two boys out in the backyard and so that's kind of what the pages are going to be based on. I chose this page with the frog paper which is from my In the Woods paper pack. It's a printable pack in my Etsy shop. And the other paper that I'm putting on the right side is from Wish Garden, which is another one that you can print out. And I'm just going to glue that straight down over the white side of the page so that it's not just blank, stark white. The spread that I do today is quite simple. I was really, really tired when I filmed this video and I didn't really do anything that was very interactive. I didn't really do much embellishing. I was just gluing things down. I still like how it turned out, but it was just a very simple page. I did go across a few pages and all of the journaling was sort of related to the garden <laughs> at our house. So it kind of had this really loose theme to it. So I glued that printed paper over the edge of the page with the mushrooms and that just gives that page a bit more interest as well. It just divides it up a little bit. So I just literally sort of wrapped it around the page along the side and along the top. Also just added a couple of staples to make sure that it was stuck down really well. And then I'm going to start playing with my photo and working out where I'm going to put it. So because the photo is 4 by 6 I decided to just trim it down a little bit and the main reason that I wanted to do that is because I didn't want to cover up too much of the patterns. So I like to showcase the patterns on the pages as well as what I'm putting on the pages. So I'm just trimming it down so that it doesn't cover up so much of the page. And I thought it might look nice on top of the frog paper but I actually end up putting it on top of the other page because I just didn't want to cover up too much of the frog paper. I have this little clear photo overlay. It says you are my sunshine and I thought that that might look nice sitting over the top of the photo but because I had trimmed it down it didn't really fit very well. It covered up too much of the image so I just left that for now and then I'm looking through my vintage linen printables. These are all on sticker paper so they're like really big linen stickers. I also have some illustrated ones and they're also on sticker paper so I'm just trying to find something to go on top of that frog paper, something that's going to um, enhance the page without covering it too much. I did really like the way that little rectangular linen looked along the bottom. It had all the right sort of color tones and I liked the way the photo looked sitting on top of both of those but again I felt like it covered up too much of the frog paper. Um, in hindsight, looking at that, I really do like the way that that looked and I definitely could have ran with that, but I decided not to just because I didn't want to cover up too much of the frog paper. So I do end up putting that linen along the bottom of the frog paper, but I'm trying to work out the best spot for that photo still. And so it's a little bit busy. I'm looking for something to lay the photo on top of to give it a bit of a border just to help lift it off the page so that it's not too difficult to look at. There's a lot of patterns going on so I just wanted to give that photo something to sit on top of so that it stands out and becomes the focal point even against those really busy patterns. So I'm just using this little scrap of magazine paper. It's just like an off-white colour and I'm just going to use that to frame the photo and again I'm just working out where to put it. I really liked the way that it looked on top of that white paper just felt like it fit better on top of that pattern paper so I put the little linen sticker along the bottom where the frogs are and the photo on the right side. So I glued the photo straight down on top of that little scrap of magazine paper and then I just stapled both of those down straight onto that page. The reason that I stapled them instead of gluing or using double-sided tape is because even though I liked the way it looked sitting on top of the illustrated paper, I still wanted to be able to lift it up and down to look at the pattern paper underneath, um, just so that you could still see 
both pieces. I wanted to add one of these little red frame labels and I liked the way it looked along the bottom of the photo but again um, it just didn't really sit well. I didn't like the way that it covered too much of the photo so I just put it underneath the photo on top of the magazine paper. And then I'm going back to that little clear overlay that says you are my sunshine. I'm just seeing if there's anywhere that I can work it into the page. I decided to trim it down and overlay it on top of that linen so it kind of puts like a title on that page. And to attach that to the page, I'm just going to staple it along the edge. So I like how that adds some detail to the page without covering anything up really because it's see-through it just adds a nice little um, gold title so now I'm moving on to the next page with the mushrooms this pink paper is another one from wish garden and I'm just trimming that down I'm gonna put that along the bottom half of this white page and then I'm putting this other photo of my daughter and my cats looking out the window along the top and so like I said it's all related to our garden we've just cleared our garden to try and make some space to grow some grass and so this was just a photo of my daughter and the cats at the windowsill looking out at the newly excavated backyard so just a really cute photo and I'm just trimming down that pink paper so that it sits nicely along the bottom half of that page it just fills in that white space and then I just stapled that photo along the top of the page rather than gluing it down you'll see in this spread I'm letting a lot of those pattern papers just speak for themselves I'm not adding as much as I maybe usually do I'm just allowing the combination of papers to um, yeah speak for themselves they're interesting they look nice so I didn't want to cover them up too much I just added this little illustrated doily along the bottom there on top of the pink paper and that just gives me a nice little space to write or add some journaling to the page Decided to add a little scrap of vintage ledger along the bottom of the page where the photo of my boys is and that's again just going to give me a little bit more journaling space to write the story behind the photo. And here you can see I've gone in and added my journaling to the pages and then I decided to add this little sketch that I did of our backyard. It's not what it currently looks like, it's just like my little dream plan of what we could do with it. So I'm going to put this in with this journaling as well. Again, it's all related to the same thing so I felt like it fit. I'm going to glue it straight down on top of again that white back page there and I like the way that it looks beside that. Um, really floral paper on the left it complements really well again it all kind of ties in with the garden theme so I'm going to glue that straight down and then it's just going to fold up on the left side I'm not going to glue it over the top of that pattern paper because I don't want to cover that pattern paper up And just to make sure that's not going to lift in the middle I'm just going to add some some washi tape as well just so that um, it's not going to come away there this tapes really nice and wide I often like to just tear it down the middle just to make it a little bit thinner um, it's still really wide even when it's been torn so I like to do that it also adds like a soft edge to the edge of the washi tape which is always nice gives the page a bit of a softer look to it
Now just taking another one of those linen stickers, the vintage linen stickers, I'm going to put that along the back side of that garden plan that I drew. So just to add some more decoration to that page because it was really blank and stark white. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of journaling just above that. So there you can see the journaling that I added and all the pages are very simple. They all have just like one or two things with some journaling, but I kind of liked the way that it looked. I decided to add just a few stickers to the page and that's about all I did for this spread. So I kept it really, really simple. Like I said, I was very, very tired when I did this. So my brain kind of wasn't working as well as it usually does. Um, so I just kept it nice and simple. I still like the way that it turned out and I think that it's probably a good thing that I kept it nice and simple and didn't add too much because the journal's starting to get a little bit full and you'll see right at the end of this video sort of how how completed it is. I'll give you a little look at how most of the pages are filled in. So we are getting towards the end of this journal. So just added one or two stickers per page that just added a little bit more interest to the page and made it feel a little bit more finished. And here you can see the finished pages. So like I said, very, very simple today, but I do like how it turned out. All the pages tied in really well together. They're all about the same sort of things. I think that the stories complemented really well with the papers that I chose and all the stickers and stuff that I added to the page all tie in really well together. And here you can kind of see how full my journal is getting. You can see all the little bits and pieces um, peeking out on the edges of the pages. And when I flick through, most of the pages are filled in. So I think it's time for me to start making my next journal. I hope you guys enjoyed this little process video today. I hope you're all doing really well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.